Okay, anybody that can help me with, with my barometric damper, I would really appreciate it. So basically, this is an old, old peerless boiler, but I've been, we've been maintaining it. It's been working fine. It's the beginning of the winter here in New York. Uh, basically, I've come to learn that this is a barometric damper. And for the last six years we've lived in the house, there has been a, we have this boiler maintained and we have a service contract. So if there's an issue, somebody comes and takes care of it. Uh, although I can do some of this stuff myself. Last year, uh, I woke up, it was freezing cold. I actually changed this. I keep spare parts just in case. So if somebody who's knows what they're talking about can give me a little hand. So for the last five years we've lived here, this damper has had a screw in it and it's been fixed kind of like this and it hasn't moved. Uh, this guy who came to service the boiler in the fall must have, when he cleaned everything, must have taken the screw out because I heard like a clanging. Uh, when I heard a clanging uh, the other day. I came down here and basically when the boiler was off like now, it was kind of given, it was kind of given one of these deals, which I, I guess is some kind of negative pressure from uh, from up, up in the, uh, you know, wherever this vents to. Uh, this was sucking air out and it was it was causing this to move. So obviously I did a little bit of research on YouTube, <laughs> the school of YouTube, and I realized that this is a weight. I don't want to fix this back. So my question is, without me getting into buying or having somebody come out with a, with a gauge to test the pressure here and blah, 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 is there any rule of thumb as to... So, okay, so here we go. Is there any rule of thumb as to how this should be sitting when the boiler is off and what it should be doing when the boiler is on? So I kind of set it so that it doesn't clang back and forth. It kind of just, I, I move the weight so that it kind of stays closed, so to speak, when the boiler is off. And when it is on, I guess it's sucking in a little bit of, of air right now. I mean, I could open this and see what it looks like when it's burning, but uh, it's not going to really help me too much. Uh, some of the videos had beautiful, looked like overhead views of the of the flame and how much oxygen and, and you know what the flame looked like. I can't really get too good of a, I can't get too great of a, a view. I can only kind of basically get in here. I mean, again, I'm not an expert. It looks pretty good. It's not blue, it's orange, but there's no soot being produced. It looks like it's getting the right amount of air. So, so that's about as far as my expertise goes. So anybody that's knowledgeable, you know, should I stick a screw back in here? Should I make it so that when this kicks on, it, it does one of these? Any any help? So again, I just, I just debalanced it or whatever that word is. It's even coming, it's even letting a little more air in than it was before. Uh, so anybody can give me a hand, I would truly appreciate it. Again, if I could avoid calling somebody, even if it's completely free, it's their time and I hate to waste their time for something trivial like this. Again, it seems to be working, the boiler's working fine. Uh, it's doing what it has to, it's kicking on properly, it's kicking off properly. We have a, a you know, a tankless, what have we got over here? You know, indirect fired uh, heater, a water heater that's, that's working well. So this is set is set the way I like it. So I just want to know about this. If anybody could help me, greatly appreciate it. Thank you.